I'm going to demonstrate uh, FACET CA113 from the late 50s. It can do automatic um, multiplication, division, it can do adding, subtracting, and it can also do the power of a given number. So let's start with addition. So this knob here is on the multiplication position. So we can now input a number and do four. This is the input register. So we input in sequence using a keyboard. This is the accumulator register and the repetition count register. So when I press the add, the number gets added over there and the input is cleared. So we can input another number. Two, four, five, and then we add. Uh, another interesting thing is if you look at this thing with the zero in the middle, this is basically the reason why ATM machines also have a zero in the middle. Um, now to do a subtraction, uh, let's try to subtract 69 from that result. We, we input it over here, and now to subtract, we need to keep pressing this key. Well, we press this key here, and we get 300 as a result. So this shows addition and subtraction, and you see that the repetition count also went backwards when we subtracted. Now I'm going to clear everything, and I'm going to demonstrate how we do um, multiplication. So our number is going to be 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, and nine. And this number is going to give us a nice result once we multiply by 45. So we have the number in the input. We press the multiply here. Now it is stored in an internal mechanical register, and this allows us to input the other number, 45, and then proceed with the multiplication. And we get this very interesting result over here. Now let's clear everything. And conclude the multiplications by showing how to do a power of 2. So let's say 2, 5, 6. And we could have stored it and then input 2, 5, 6 again. But there is a shortcut for that. We just have 2, 5, 6 here. We press the equal key. And this is going to give us the power of this number. Now we can clear everything and prepare for division. So for a division, we need to switch this knob to the division switch. Now we are going to divide 355 by 113. 355. We need to shift it to this position. So we have this shift that will shift to the leftmost position here. Now we need to pass it to the accumulated register by add. Notice that there was no action on the repetition count. Now we put the next number, 1. One, three. We shift it over here, and now we can proceed with the division by pressing this lever over here. So division was done by repeatedly subtracting this number from that number and then shifting it. The result is a pi approximation: three, fourteen, fifteen. 929. Now we are going to clear everything. And you might wonder what happens if we try to divide by 0. So let's start with some number 8. We put it over here. We have 8. And what happens if we want to divide by 0? So what we'll be doing is we are subtracting 0 from 8, and this will never reduce the number 8. So we get into a loop. It's not going to stop, repetition count will go forever, but we have a suit stop for that.
so you don't need to open the machine to stop it from this infinity. So this demonstrates the FACET CA1-13 calculator from around 1959. Thank you.